ஸ்லாஷ் பல்மரி எடிமா ஸோ வாட் இஸ் திஸ் ஸ்லாஷ் பல்மரி எடிமா எஃபிஇ த சடன் சிவியர் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் அக்யூட் கார்டியோஜெனிக் பல்மனரி எடிமா விச் ரிசல்ட் இன் அக்குமலேஷன் ஆஃப் த ஃப்ளூயிட் இன் த லங்ஸ் இந்த அல்வியோலர் அந்த இன்டர்செப்டல் ஏரியா இந்த லங்ஸ் தேர் இஸ் அ அக்குமலேஷன் ஆஃப் த ஃப்ளூயிட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த இன்க்ரீஸ் இன் த லெஃப்ட் வெண்டிகுலர் ப்ரெஷர் In simple terms, if I have to put, this is an acute severe form of cardiogenic pulmonary edema. Why is the name flash? Flash pulmonary edema, FPE. There are other names also like crashing pulmonary edema. The name indicates the clinical presentation will be all of a sudden. It can occur over a period of hours, minutes. Patient might be doing fine within half an hour to one hour. Patient get severe shortness of breath you might have seen in your childhood a cartoon character called the flash who comes fast and disappear in the justice league out of seven character flash is one of the character who do everything very very fast a superhero so that is almost similarly it occurs very fast crashing pulmonary edema is the other name fpe is the flash pulmonary edema what are all the causes since it is occurring very fast all of a sudden the condition which is causing it will also occur all of a sudden most likely by a basic understanding of the pathophysiology that i described so the cause include most commonly hypertensive emergency all of a sudden bp is getting high left ventricular is not able to tolerate acute lvf leading to increased pressure fluid congestion in the lungs one hypertensive emergency second mi myocardial infarction causing the left ventricular dysfunction third any arrhythmias because arrhythmia occur all of a sudden any arrhythmias any valvular problem suddenly if it is worsening not chronic valvular problem suddenly if it is worsening and the fourth one is the acute decompensated heart rate failure in this patient might be having ccf because of precipitating factor there is a acute deterioration that is why there is a acute problem acute decompensate cardiac failure so the terminology if you go by absolute terms very difficult to understand because acute lvf acute decompensate heart failure flash pulmonary edema you have to understand the basic pathophysiology what is happening a detailed history by a medicine resident might lead to the diagnosis very easily 90 percentage of the cases even in your casualty or emergency if you go 90 percentage of the cases might be due to hypertensive emergency because of the chronic volume overload renal dysfunction chronic kidney disease patient accumulated volume bp went up so all these act as a risk factor all led to sudden rise in bp which lead to acute decompensation of the left side of the heart presenting as severe shortness of breath all of a sudden it will come the residents who might have experienced this in the casualty you might understand how short the history might be there won't be any history of fever there won't be any uh, history of shortness of breath since long period the sudden deterioration might be very very clear and one more thing i want to clear out at this point is the patient who is a case of ckd or ccf might be having chronic symptoms which might be similar to shortness of breath but when they present the worsening will be so acute pink frothy sputum might be there saturation might drop you might have to intubate i hope the students or resident who are seeing this video you are in a level to understand my description of acute deterioration because otherwise a amateur student or a ug student undergraduate might have the doubt sir how come ckd is a long term situation and you are saying fpe flash pulmonary edema will occur acutely see there are it is a long term problem all of a sudden the bp rise why the patient might have missed the hypertensive dose or the patient might have missed the dialysis or we might have taken large amount of fluid or any acute deterioration for that matter in aka 
AK leads to acute deterioration. This might lead to sudden rise in BP, which leads to pulmonary edema. Acute severe cardiogenic form of pulmonary edema is called as flash pulmonary edema. So, there, what is the treatment for this? You have to find the cause, treat it. Find the cause. History is the most important one with which you will get the clear idea regarding this. Wheezing might be there, pink frothy sputum might be there, BP might be high if it is because of hypertension emergency, chest pain if it is because of uh, MI, other things as per my cause description presentation might be there. Wheezing might be there, severe crepitation might be there. There is no specific finding which is related to this. It is a uh, syndrome that you have to diagnose using several parameters together. In the X-ray, so the X-ray is the one you are seeing. Typical bat wing appearance will be there. Yes, this flash film edema is associated with a lot of cartoon super characters. Flash, bat wing appearance, Batman, so bat wing appearance. Severe pulmonary congestion. So, as you see in the x ray, so in the background, you are seeing the x ray, you are seeing the typical bat wing appearance. Many a times, unilaterally, you might get this finding infiltrate. Typically, second year student MD residents will get confused. Sir, unilaterally, it won't be pulmonary edema, it won't work that way. At that particular point, the congestion is more because of the patient dependent position. Or if you do it subsequent after a particular hours, the second set of infiltrates might be rising or it will be better picked up by the HRCT chest, the both bilateral infiltrates. I think there is a video which was uploaded last week which clearly demonstrated in the X-ray we found only unilateral sign but in the CT bilateral infiltrates are very clear. So from the X-ray you can clearly make the diagnosis. Many a times the bat wing appearance might not be there. So if bat wing appearance is not there, we can't rule out this condition. A good history, your clinical confidence and the x-ray might show infiltrates most of the lung field, even in the upper zone, even in the lower zone, everywhere you might get the infiltrates. So what is the differential for that? Viral pneumonia is the second differential. But if there is no fever, history is suggesting more of acute presentation, X-ray itself clearly makes the diagnosis. Apart from that, yes, we have to look at the blood, echo to find why the patient landed. As I told, mostly it is hypertensive emergency, secondary to kidney problem. You might get all the signs of uh, hypertension mediated end organ damage, like retinopathy might be there, LVH might be there. So this is all regarding the diagnosis. Coming to the treatment. If it is hypertensive emergency, treat the cause. Bring the BP under control. NTG might be required. We have to reduce the stress on the heart. Probably a fluid removal might be required. Ultrafiltrate removal or the fluid removal might be required. If the patient is a case of CKD, probably dialysis might be required. So there is some noise outside. So I am telling it again, fluid removal, if the patient is a case of CKD, dialysis might be required and if you repeat the x-ray after dialysis or fluid removal, there will be drastic response and even in NT NTG, it is a magic drug in pulmonary edema. If you start NTG, the response will be so, so good, it will be similar to a PSVT. For Paroxysomal supraventricular tachycardia, if you give adenosine, the response will be so good. Similar to that, the response will be so good in pulmonary edema with NTG. On condition that patient is not in volume overload, patient is not a case of CKD. Because if these two are there, immediately we have to take for dialysis. And of course, you have to repeat the X-ray after 24 hours to 48 hours. You can take serial X-ray to make that. Diagnosis within 24 hour or 48 hour x-ray you will be very clear the x-ray will show very good response that indicates pulmonary edema is responding. So this is all about flash pulmonary edema. So in summary 
flash pulmonedema fpe or crashing pulmonedema there are other names also acute sympathetic pulmonedema leave out the terminology just remember the pathophysiology sudden acute cardiogenic form of pulmonedema resulting in fluid accumulation in the lungs because of increase in the left ventricular pressure condition which can causes any acute thing most commonly hypertensive emergency secondary to volume overload ckd not all hypertensive emergency will have mi arrhythmia obstruction of the heart acute decompensation of the any cardiac condition these are the five most common causes diagnosis usually history symptoms plus examination most important investigation chest x ray treatment treat the etiology in ckd or dialysis do the sorry in ckd volume overload do water removal and probably a dialysis repeat x ray might be required that's all regarding flash pulmonary edema in the next video we will see regarding yet another clinical situation which is related to imaging bye bye